Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevTactic. Today we will take a look at something quite interesting to protect your Ionic app without guards. So first of all, I've already created a blank Ionic app. You can do the same. It's pretty much simply running um, Ionic start minus minus v2 auth guard app blank. So you got a new blank app. Um, we will take a look at lifecycle events today. So these are events fired from the class. Um, for example, once your view is loaded, once it enters, once it wants to leave, um, there are different events. And we will take a look especially at these two or especially the first one, which is ion view can enter and ion view can leave. So from Angular 2, there's this concept of NAV guards, which are there to protect your pages from accessing them. And we can use this concept right inside our Ionic app to forbid uh, access to specific pages based on, let's say, the authentication state of a user. So we got the app ready. Um, let's open the code editor and dive right into it. First of all, we see we have only one home page and we need some more stuff right here. So go ahead and create these. First of all, we create a second page where we can navigate to. And then we will also generate a provider, which we call auth service. But we're not actually using a real backend here, but we can still fake this pretty good. So after creating those two files, you have to make sure to add them inside your app module. So go ahead and add the uh, second page right here. Uh, sorry, what's wrong? Um, okay. Yes, well, okay, that should work. And then we also need our auth service. So put it to the providers and make sure to import it up here. All right. Um, now we can go ahead to our uh, auth service and implement the basic functions that we need. First of all, we don't need any of this. We're not making HTTP calls right here. And this can go away as well. So we need three functions. First of all, we need a simple login function. Um, then we need um, a private variable, which will hold the state of our uh, users. So is locked in. And in the beginning, this is simply false. If we lock in, uh, we say that our state of locked in is now true. And more or less the same is the lockout. But in this case, we set it to false. Very simple. If you have a real backend, of course, these are the spots to make your call to the backend, check if the user is verified, get the response, and only then set him to true. And finally, we also implement um, a function which can check the state. So authenticated. And this will just return our locked in state. All right. Um, there's nothing really special here. Um, it's just a mock implementation of a, our service, but it's a good uh, starting point for your app. Now let's move on to our home HTML, which is the first thing we will see. So let's first of all display a header so we can see uh, if the user is authenticated. We will implement the function soon. We want to center it. And in this case is the user locked in. Um, the second is just the opposite. Uh, just leave it. User is not locked in. Okay, this is just for us to see the current state more clearly. Now we need a few buttons. So go ahead and create some ion buttons. And the first one will have the primary color. And on the click event, we want to lock in our user. 
and we need two more of them and this one is a bit dangerous so this is then logout user and finally we want to actually see our enough guards in action and this is why we need the third button which will push the next page if possible uh, now let's see um, yeah of course if authenticated is not yet implemented in our home TS. So we go ahead and create this function right inside our home TS. And is authenticated needs our authentication service. So we put it to our constructor, import the auth service, and now we can just return this dot auth service dot authenticated. And perhaps, let's see, it might be already loading now. Okay, that's a different kind of error. Um, now let's implement our three functions. So we had a login user and we also had a logout user. And again, here we can only use our auth service and call the login function and same here but now log out now the interesting part comes now now we want to push the next page which is the second page so we got the function and we say this dot nav controller dot push on the second page and this is just like always but now we want to actually catch an event that might occur here and in case of error we will display an alert view um, okay we need to import the uh, alert controller as well from ionic angular and we will put it here alert controller alert controller now we can create an alert. Uh, we need to use this dot alert controller dot create and we pass some information like a title which will say you cannot entry this page and a subtitle which might say you shall not pass. And of course, the user will have no other options in this case than to say, okay, I seem to have no access here. All right, so let's see why second is not working. Okay, so I investigated a bit because um, just before this video, my Ionic CLI changed to version three. So there are some minor changes. Um, in case you're still on Ionic 2, make sure to import your uh, created second page in the declarations and entry components. Um, but if you're also already on the third CLI, you don't have to import it anyway here. And your second page will look a bit different and will have this second module. And also there was a uh, tiny bug in here. So initially it was Ionic module, but we had to change it to ionic page module to work all right um if you're still on the old cli it will look a bit different this file won't be here and inside your home component you would push the second page but with ionic 3 actually you just specify a string and the magic underneath will grab the name of this class and display this class all right so let's get back to why we are here. This is our app. User is not logged in, user is logged in, user is not logged in, okay? We can change that, works perfectly. Next page pushes our second page, which is exactly what we want. Now we come actually to the nav guard, okay? So what we were here for um, is protecting our second page. So we just want to allow people to visit this page if they are actually authenticated. 
And therefore, let's go ahead and import our auth service again. And we don't need the ion view to load, but we need a different lifecycle called ion view can enter now. And this lifecycle event uh, specifies whether people can enter this page or not. Very simple. And if we return simply true, everyone can enter. If we return false, nobody can enter. So what we're going to do is we return the auth status of our uh, auth service. So this means only if you're currently authenticated, you can enter this page. And if you're not logged in, you see fail to navigate. Now let's log in and we can get to the second page. Actually, there should be, um, let's see, okay, well, actually this, ah, okay, yeah, of course, we should also call alert.present to show the alert. Now let's load it again. And once it's there, first of all, we are not logged in, we want to push and we get the error because we are not allowed to access this page. We log in and we can access it. And back, log out, not allowed. Okay, so this is quite a simple and not often talked about a lifecycle event, but it's actually pretty powerful to protect access to your page. So once you're in this page, you can now be sure that you're authenticated and make all the stuff and display everything authenticated members can see. But if not, you already check it before actually the stuff in this page is loading. So from your homepage, you can catch this event and do whatever you like to do. Um, as said in the beginning, you could also um, use the can leave event, which is quite the opposite. So once a page wants to leave, uh, you can do the same as ion view can enter, but this is more for, let's say you have a form and some fields need to be filled out. But ion view can enter is perfectly for building some authentication. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel or join the Ionic Academy for in-depth courses, videos, and community. So stay tuned until next time and have a great day.